Hi guys, we are back once again to give uh, our audience with some good actions. This time around, we are going to take, um, it might be regular, it might not be, but however, it's left for us and our viewers to learn and then pick one or two things because sometimes it happens, sometimes it may not. But as I always say, Sometimes things happen that you don't plan. So you just expect it may happen to you. But don't say, ah, no, such thing can happen. So we're going to take, this action is going to be based on four, I mean, three attackers on the street. Three attackers. How you can defend yourself from three basic attacks from three different fronts. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy yourself. But first of all, I want to remind our first timers to always subscribe hit the bell and leave your comment but for our esteemed subscribers stay tuned thumbs up okay now let's get to the action okay from here first thing is this if you have such situation where you have three attackers like this the position number one thing the position in matters how you, the, uh, the victim, position yourself also counts and how you can succeed to defend yourself. You cannot position yourself in a, at a, distinct, I mean, a, a disadvantaged position. Now, what, what do we mean by disadvantaged position? Is that advantage position in the sense that, like, they are already positioned one, two, three here. Now, you you come into the center. Coming into the center, you allow them to close you in so badly. But before you take this position, you know that you're already at a disadvantaged position, which you have to be a professional to be able to get yourself free out of here. Otherwise, the better way for you to do it is not to allow them to close you in you either choose to go to one person like this, or you choose to go here, or you choose to go here. Having your view surrounding, you know, the surround. Your view must be at the environment, an environment surrounding everywhere in the environment, wherever attacks may come. So you're, you're able to sight round. As I am here now, I am sighting there, even though I don't need to turn, but I know I am feeling I know there's an attack may come in there and I have to be prepared for that. Okay, now I am going to this aspect. I want to first of all place myself on a disadvantaged position, and that is planting myself at the very center. Why? Because I know how I'm going to take myself out of it. Okay, now let's take this first. After this, we'll take the other aspect. Now, this one here. Why I am facing here is because I take myself a bit closer, but I expect an attack from the person facing me. Even though I am expecting an attack from here, I am not lost against the two behind. I am equally there. In case attack refuses to come from here first, attack can come from anywhere. So. Okay, now from the action you've seen, I will go ahead to explain them one after the other, how that was possible. The first attacker came. Now, come with the same attack you came with. And I went one here. This attack here, I am defending and attacking at the same time. While I block him, I strike. And at the same time, I pull here. Now the next attack came. I stuck him up there, and by stalking him, I come back here and I pull him up. Ah. I strike. Then the next attack, boom! Oh. I didn't wait for the attack oh. to land. See that? That is it. Okay. 
Ah. You have to be smart and alert. Nice one. That is why you don't have to bury yourself on a particular attacker. Come back. Come back. <clears throat> I won't do this. Take the attack again. I won't do this. And all my attention is here. Pap. And I'm, I'm, I've forgotten that there are people there. there. There's an attacker here. There's an attacker here. Okay, now, from here, let's assume he is not the one coming. He is the one coming. It doesn't stop anything. Why? It's because your eye, you don't need to turn to see or you should be able to see. Now, I go here. Come again. I go. One. Now an attack from the fair. Boom. <laughs> It's as simple as that. But I did that without turning to see him. But I already saw him from my wild view. Your view has to be wide. You don't need to turn to look. Your instinct must be able to help your view. Because it's your instinct that helps your view to go wide without you turning around. Now, those actions, like the action here, is a strike to the neck. The pen and a strike to the neck. This, this one is a complete total. I've finished with that. Now this one had to push him off. I can get back to him if I want to. I have finished with this one here. Because the strike here, come back here. He came down with a punch here. Because I was down here. So instead of me allowing him to attain the punch here, I stop him halfway. Now come with the motion again. Boom! I stop him halfway with a strike to the side here. And he saw his reaction. So down there, and I see him with the point. So that is an attack, or a counter, an attack and a counter from a disadvantaged position. And why that is possible is because you have to be, first of all, a professional to be able to have a wider view of <clears throat> your surroundings. Okay, now let's see. Um, there's a question like, uh, uh, first of all, I mentioned. Uh, disadvantage uh, angle and the other one. The advantage angle, where you can now, the three persons are positioned as they are now. Okay, <clears throat> you know you cannot comfortably fix yourself at the center and, and, and decide to fight at once. Now what do you do? You choose who to go to. Okay, now choose to go here so that I have them there right in front. I do. If I choose here first, then I have the reasons why I'm choosing here first. Because I know I can view them. I can read whatever they're coming with. And I know how to have take a swift counter to them. Okay? So these are the areas you have to look at. If you can't take a disadvantaged position, you have to adopt Either you go here, either you go there, or you go there. So choose both ways to avert or to defend yourself in the midst of, or when you have a situation where you have more than one person that is like three attackers, you must be able to choose between the two positions that you place yourself as a victim. Place yourself at the center of them where you know you are comfortable and you are fit to deal with them. But if you know you don't have such skills, please place yourself at one angle at a time. Go to one person at a time. But by the time you strike this, before the other person comes, you should be able to gather yourself. And while you are doing this, so also, you don't need to waste so much time with that one person. Because you know there are more than one. So if you waste your time here with this one, the space you've given will mean nothing because you fall, you know, you're already there. All right? Okay, so um, with this, we're going to leave you with this few points um, that uh, you should know where to place yourself as a victim if you, if you happen to, to face, face with, uh, come face to face with such situation where three persons attack you and you have yourself and yourself alone to contain with the three. So you have to choose. First of all, know yourself. Am I competent enough? Am I a professional fighter? Will I be able to withstand? If 
you are able to withstand, then you know where to fix yourself. You can fix yourself at a disadvantage position, which is the center. Then you have a, a wide view, pick them all around at the same time. But if not, you place yourself one at a time so that you can have an opportunity to run by after dealing with one person, you run. That is where you are not competent enough. So with this, you can decide and choose, but learn from both angles. So what I will always advise you to, to work yourself to be a professional fighter. Now, how do you do that? You are rule. At least if you follow our videos, you'll, you'll see some of the basic techniques we've been showing and more will still come. So keep following up. We will show you some basic ways to learn basic techniques. So with this, I want to remind our first timers, do subscribe, hit the bell and leave your comments. Then for those of us that are already uh, our extreme subscribers, we will always say thank you. Stay tuned till we come your way next time.